I said it yesterday leading the show, and I'll repeat it here again, mostly because I was proven correct. Listen, Caleb Williams is going to be a Chicago Bear, and the Chicago Bears, even if Jaden Daniels looks like the second coming, it's going to be Caleb Williams. I'm sure there will be a lot of higher register, like, hey, Jaden Daniels looked pretty good. <laughs> but they're not taking Caleb to dinner. I mean, I, I, Carolina took everyone to dinner last year. I'm just saying they're not taking Caleb to dinner and dapping him up and trading away Justin Fields only to get second thoughts. Because it's not like Caleb Williams, I think, has given them any reason to have second thoughts. The aspect that Steve hit on there that I I thought was very keen analysis is him showing off he's a good dude. He's there for his teammates. He's there for this. He's talking to everybody. He's chatting up everybody. Now, you could sit here and say it's all an act. You never know anybody anymore. But he was at the Combine on that Saturday night, and that was a long day. And it's an early morning the next day. Do you know every single prospect that worked out at the Combine had to stay overnight? Sometimes they would just let him go, sometimes in previous Combines. Uh, they all had to stay overnight to get a drug test at 6 in the morning the next day. Whoa. So, and, and every day starts early at the Combine. And I know Caleb Williams didn't work out, but he 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 turned the lights out. He stuck around to watch the other USC guys work out, and then he did go up to everybody and said, "Thank you for running the drills." Yeah, I saw a video of that. Now you could say again, that's an act. You got to prove that you're a good guy, but that does go a long way. You're going to give somebody all these millions of dollars. You don't want an a hole in your organization. You just don't. No matter how good the guy might be on the field. Certainly if things are close enough that you do like Jaden Daniels too, I, I just don't think this is going to spin out in another direction. This is Caleb Williams to Chicago. And Chicago Bears fans, I think, are having trouble computing it right now. Understandable. <laughs> you know? Like yesterday, Adam Chudwin, our call screener, the resident Chicago Bears fan, is just like looking at his phone, kind of like, oh, wow, look at that. And he's, I think it's beginning to dawn on him. <laughs> what's about to happen? What's yeah. potentially, potentially about to happen? Because Bears fans do have the, uh, you know, cauterized wounds of some other quarterbacks that didn't pan out. I mean, Mitchell Trubisky, that might be the whole. If Caleb Williams is the guy that we're expecting him to be, that would finally, I think, take the Mitchell Trubisky stench. Uh, well, I guess the the. Stench. Hold on a minute. I'll say this potentially right, although the post-traumatic Trubisky disorder. PTTB. I don't know. I was just going to say the, wounds of Trubisky. Wounds is of great. Trubisky is, is, is a great. great it's the wounds of Trubisky. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, I think, was that a Simon and Garfunkel song? <laughs> is that on the flip side of Sounds of Silence? <laughs> it's, the, it's the B side. Wounds nope. of Trubisky. <laughs> so I think Caleb would finally get that out of the minds of, we traded up to get a quarterback and Mahomes was left on the board. As if you knew what Mahomes yeah. was going to turn into. Didn't, Nobody knew what Tom know. Brady would Nobody turn knew. into. That's the yeah. vagaries of the draft in the same way that... Uh, you know, the Jets thought they were made in the Zach Wilson shade and Trey Lance was going to bring some sort of a quarterback 2.0 game to San Francisco. I get it. I understand. But I think Bears fans, you should realize, trust me, I, I wish the Jets were sitting in this position being able to get Caleb Williams. You too with New England. It's the exact answer we so what you're looking for. And the <laughs> neat part about it for you Bears fans is it's not like the one in 15 or one in 16, you know, house has been totally torched down to the ground. Like the whole thing is needing to be built up similar to what Carolina's got to do right now. Instead, Ryan Poles has had a couple of years head start and has in fact utilized last year's trade so brilliantly 
and has added some pieces in free agency. And I remember when Roquan Smith got traded away, we were even wondering, what's he up to? Why would you take somebody like him? That's the guy you build around. They have done a great job. And the back end of that defense is young and ball hawking. The front end of that defense can rush the passer. Eberflus is the guy who runs that side of the ball. We will see if Shane Waldron, get the whole point is that can Shane Waldron find the offense to unlock this kid and can the offensive line protect? Because you know the receivers and weapons are there to receive. And the running game does appear to be ready to roll. So Williams isn't just strolling into some spot and ho- he's the savior. We got to hope he does it himself. Not at all. It's got weapons. Like it has been set up. It's been set up. So I think that would be my message. It's been set up. This is not a setup. Mitchell Trubisky's not walking through that door. Caleb Williams is, and I think that's a significant difference. Come on, this get just happy. in. Come on, get happy. <laughs> Who's the Ruben Kincaid then? I don't know who that is. I guess that's Eberflus. <laughs> that would be Eberflus. Or is it George McCaskey? He's the Ruben Kincaid of this thing. Well, all yeah. right. No, I think I think you and I need to have stop having this conversation because <laughs> yeah, people I mean, do not know, know what we're talking. talking. I know yeah. you're talking. Yeah. About. Okay, very I, good. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern, for free. 